Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and it's Sunday, and we have our first yard sale and estate sale score of the year. Um, picked up the stuff you're going to see in this bag, in that coffee can, and there's three things outside I'll show you. But, uh, got all this for the stuff in the bag, and all the stuff was 90 bucks, and the stuff outside was 20 so let's, let me go outside real quick and show you what's out there. First thing, excuse the wind, it is terribly windy outside. I got these three metal saw horses for 20 bucks for all three of them. They're very well built. So those will be an excellent addition to the uh, shop. So now let's go inside and I'll show you what else we got. Okay, so yeah, the saw horses, awesome score. You got a big tote bag. Now, when you go to a state sale or yard sale, the more you buy, the bigger, better your savings are. So, I went through and picked out the choice things I wanted first, and then I found that bag. So, I filled up the bag and I had room. So, I threw some lesser things in there. But let's see how we did for 90 bucks. This was the first day at the estate sale, so prices were high. And there's one or two things from the scrap yard in there. I'll point out. First of all, Thing of random sockets. It's like two bucks. They're almost all. Where is it? See that? Cornwells, Protos, SKs. Uh, we'll go through those at the end. Let's start digging through the bag. First thing. Nice Stanley hacksaw. Nice frame, nice frame. It is super awesome. Craftsman. I love this handle. Very nice hacksaw. To add to the collection, there's an Imperial. Some of this stuff isn't what's actually in it, but this is. Flaring kit, double flaring tool. Nice American-made stuff in the original metal box. Couldn't leave that behind. An oil can. These need cleaned up, but they're craftsmen's. They're sharp. It's got a little bit of surface rust on them. This I got at the scrapyard for $2. Nice swivel pick and eye. These things are awesome. Folding zigzag ruler. Not broken. This one's a don't see offhand. Middletown, made in USA. Very cool. One of these cheap, uh, you know, hex key things, but these are handy to throw on the bench or around the shop. Over there. Uh, I don't know what's in this guy. This is a nice uh, proto two jaw puller. This is like a, not a jaw puller. More like a steering wheel puller or something like that. In the SK Wayne box. Another box. With another puller. Another SK Wayne box. This is a... Can't really read it. That's another similar type puller. A new tub of marine grease. Always grab this stuff. And I got those uh, Kmart oil filters and stuff. And I, I'm not going to show it, but I got like five uh, gallons of antifreeze. I always buy all the motor oil because that stuff out of state sales goes for like a dollar. 
There's a Herbrand stud puller. Ugh. It's a giant lead ball, fishing weight. The guy had a lot of boat stuff. But that was the only like lead he had. Proto tools. It's another puller, a little bit of surface rust in the original, those fancy old riveted boxes. Pretty cool. Nice, good old-fashioned leaded solder. Two different sizes. This is a chain tool. New in the box. American-made one. Very cool. Oh, these are sweet. There's one more somewhere. There are three of these. Williams. These are those heavy clamps. And look how thick that is. Very robust. These are for more like clamping steel. And these were like $2 a piece. There's more lifting stuff I got from the scrapyard. All the stuff from the scrapyard, which is all just that pile, was like seven dollars. A couple He had some wood cutting stuff. I picked up a nice counter USA made counter sink. And uh Woodruff key cutter, a couple ball end mills. Okay, I think we just got one thing left. And I 100% do not remember what is in this. I think it's this drill bits, but I may be wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, it's this drill bits. Bigger size reduced shank drill bits. There's the one new in the box. All American made brands. So, you know, this I don't need anymore. There's a end mill in there. Still shop, as Boromir would say. Okay, let's not put that back in there. Yeah, and a handy little metal box. That's pretty good. We'll go through the sockets real quick. There's not many. There's a corn wheel. SK. SK. Plum. Ooh. Proto impact socket. Always like to see Proto. Another SK one. Her brand. SK. It's weird. They have a lot of SK socket sets there, but none of them had SK sockets in them. They all had an SK ratchet, but then some off brand. If you're going to focus, Vintage Craftsman, the Vintage logo. That's when they made these nice, really stubby, like middling sockets. Cornwell, uh, SK, Bullet Nose, Vintage Craftsman. I'm almost done here. Craftsman. Pins Corp. Her brand.
and there's four more. Williams impact socket. Another plum. Another plum. And a Prado. So yeah, not a bad little haul for 90 bucks for this stuff, and especially the sawhorses. Probably would have been better the second day, but I couldn't miss out on this, and I just got I got the bug in me because the year had started. So yeah, very cool stuff to have the collection. Uh, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.